Hey guys, welcome to this week's, not WTF, but we're calling it something else we haven't really settled on. Uh, basically, I'm trying overpriced makeup. I'm gonna wear it all day long, and at the end of it, we're gonna see if it is worth the ridiculous price tag. I have something from Guerlain. Now, you guys know I love their gold base so much that I have now purchased probably four bottles in my you know, lifetime of loving that product. And I also recently got this, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm like all over the place all the time, I'm so sorry. Uh, this is the Meteorites Oxygen Care Moisturizer Radiance Booster. I tried this today and I really like it. Uh, but anyway, I went to the Guerlain counter, I saw this, I was reminded that so, so many of you had been messaging me and you're like, please try this, please try this. And to me, I never really like this kind of a product. So I was almost kind of, you know, ripping into it and kind of making fun of it at the counter, like swatching it and being like, who would like this? Oh my gosh, $41 for a coal eyeliner, that's ridiculous. But then I started smoothing the powder out and it is actually stunning. Stunning. Like it has this interesting charcoal with a little bit of multicolored glitter that's just like super fine. And I was like straight up mesmerized at the counter and I was like, yes, we're doing this. I need to see if I can get it to work. I need to try this on my eyes. I need to wear it. You guys need to know. So that is what we're doing today. This is the little package right here. It is number one noir. Let's just take a look. Ooh, it has like a cute little tag. It's only good for six months, so use it fast. So this is the, ooh, it looks like a like sword. You're like, like, or something you'd stick in a sandwich or, do you know what I'm saying? What is this? Are you supposed to like, I don't know. I need to read directions is what I'm realizing at this moment. Guerlain, step it up on this. Like the package actually feels kind of like something I would get at, I don't know, the drugstore. Like it does not, or like dollar store. Like it does not compete with their other beautiful, gorgeous, solid, weighted packaging. And you are paying so much money for this. So I don't really, I don't understand the packaging. Okay, so let's uh, hop on. <sighs> okay, you can try it on on Sephora. I don't even know how you do that. What? This is one shade, one shade only. A lot of people seem to really, really love this. Exceptionally elegant eye makeup innovation. This is a ultra fine loose powder with a touch of iridescence. It can be applied as an eyeliner using the wand applicator or applied as an eyeshadow. Ooh, using the brush. What brush? You get a brush? Hello, where's my brush? You're really supposed to apply this with a little sword? Are you serious? Okay, this is too crazy for me. Uh, we are going to scooch closer. I'm gonna line my eyes with this, see how it wears. I normally don't like this kind of a thing because I find that the pigment tends to fall everywhere and fluff everywhere, but you know what? We're gonna give it a good go, see what happens. I'm gonna take you guys through my day and let's just get this going. This is so strange because I feel like if I put it on its side, it's all gonna like tumble out and like pfft, everywhere. And it's so expensive that I don't want that to happen. Should I like, what? I don't really know how to use this. I feel like I need a tutorial. Okay, I keep seeing people say that they use it in their waterline and that it is the most budge proof thing they've ever put in their waterline. I am so curious about that. All right, three, two, one, you guys. We're just like, we're going in with this and just praying for the best. I'm just gonna kind of apply this the way I would if it were a liquid liner, like the tip. That was actually super fast. All right, it is falling a little bit, not as much as I thought it would. Dude, this almost feels dangerous though. Like I'm just gonna be like, mm, and then I'm gonna be like, uh, and like jab my eye. Oh, that would be the end of my career. Okay, other eye. I wonder if you can just kind of do like one of these. I'm surprised how much I like this. I think it's pretty easy to apply. I would next time for sure do my eyes before concealer because there are little specks of black, which you all know when you whisk that away, it, uh, you know, we're gonna have some smears and I don't wanna add any darkness to an area that I wanna brighten up. So 
that is one drawback, but this little guy right here, it's so crazy how you can just get right in there and you almost feel like you have more to grip onto. I don't know, I just felt like it kept my hand really, really steady. So I'm gonna put on mascara and lashes and then I think I do wanna kind of try to pull it in the waterline a little bit. I mean, that might close my eyes off, um, but just in the art of wanting to test this out through and through, I think I am gonna do that. What's new with you guys? How are you? What are, what are the makeup items that you're loving right now? Please tell me in the comments below. I wanna hear all about it. I've been really good about checking my DMs on Instagram and oh my goodness, I cannot tell you how much I absolutely love that you guys, A, just like chat with me there, but also you guys send me like the coolest, ow, that was too close. I almost injured my eyeball, eyes watering. You send me the coolest stuff that you want reviewed from places that I don't even like, I've never even heard of these things. So it's helping me to like enjoy the process of finding new makeup and like going on sites and ordering things. So I have a lot of cool uh, stuff that I wanna review coming up very soon. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you are subscribed if you have not subscribed already because you need to do that to get my videos. So hit that button. And then while you're there, ring the notification bell and drop it to all. Cause I basically live here every morning. I am here with new fresh content. Ooh, do I need lashes today? I kind of don't know. I think I want to go for it. I don't know what these ones are right here. You guys, this is like awful. Like I honestly, I have lashes freaking everywhere in this place. Like they're hiding up on shelves. They're stuck to mirrors. And then I forget which ones are what. And it's probably my worst habit. And I really, like, I really want to fix that. I'm not, I'm not happy, ooh, I'm not happy that I do that. Are those nice? Yes, okay, we're gonna do these. I don't know what these are, but they seem nice. I found them on a shelf. I don't even know how long they've been there. I'm still organizing this room. I will have like the final grand finale very, very soon. And honestly, I could not be more excited for that. That is gonna be so fun because I have just like plowed through everything. I'm feeling so good about where I'm at with my collection. I feel like I've held on to the right stuff. I've gotten rid of the wrong stuff. I've been able to donate, do giveaways, and it's so much more manageable in here. And I feel like the flow of things coming in, I'm just like not gonna miss a beat with reviews because before everything kind of was just too much and I would, I would lose things. And now I feel like, yes, I've got it so under control. So you just wait. Whatever these lashes are, they are straight up magic. Are you joking me right now? <gasps> what are you? I don't even know. I feel like I have to like do this or something or like, bing! Like every time I reach for one of these brushes. Blinged brushes, brushes of my dreams. I shouldn't even be using this. I should just have it on display, but I just felt like being a little extra. I'm loving this liner. I'm loving these lashes. I think this is fantastic. I am gonna go ahead and take our little $41 friend and pop it in the waterline and just like pray for the very best because so many people were like, oh my gosh, this is like, this is it for your waterline. I need a mirror so I can kind of like tug at my eye a little bit. I try to keep the mirror out of frame. Does that bother you guys if you see like a mirror? Let me know in the comments. Do you like give a crap or are you like, whatever, we don't care. Oh my gosh though. Oh shoot. This fallout is just kind of effing everywhere. Dang it. All right, I'm going to go in with the liner on the waterline before I even fix up any more of the fallout, but it is there. Oh my God, my eye doctor is screaming right now. I can just, I can hear him right now being like, what are you doing? I have weird eye allergies and I'm trying to get rid of some of the like redness in the corner of my eyes. And I'm supposed to be on these weird eye drops for like 30 days. <laughs> He's like, make sure you don't get makeup in your eye. And then I'm like, let's try this in my eye. Um, yeah, that does not feel comfortable. Does it look nice? I don't even know. Okay, now it's not bad. 
For a minute, it feels very strange like you've put dust in your eyes because basically that's what you're doing. Ooh, that is a little irritating. Woo! Wow, that's so crazy how uh, lining your waterline, if you don't have anything like smoked out or lashes, it really can make your eyes smaller. So be careful about doing like the full lining all the way around. I am going to remedy that situation by smoking a little shadow on the lower lash line just to kind of open my eyes back up. I'm gonna take in this Milani palette, this guy right here, this is what is on my eyes today. And then I also used the BH Cosmetics palette, some of the shimmers in here. I really love. This is like a $15 palette, dude. And the shimmers are so nice. So I put that on the actual lid. But let's just go in with this. Hmm, I feel like I just screwed up my whole look. Dang it. This look went in a different direction entirely. I think I preferred it before the waterline liner and then the lower lash line. Like I'm actually really into just focusing on the upper lash line and lid and lashes and keeping this blank. I know a lot of you guys, when I tried out the La Prairie foundation, you're like, wow, your makeup looks great. And that day I felt so good. Like ultimately I'll link the video below. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys if you wanna go watch. But ultimately like my favorite thing about the makeup was my eye makeup. Like I really, really loved it. Anyway, you guys were commenting a lot about that. And I agree, like sometimes it's fun to do the lower lash line thing. Like this is not terrible, but I think I preferred it before. As far as comfort, putting powder in your eyes is not the greatest feeling. Like I feel like bits of it are still kind of floating around in there. And I don't know, it kind of gives me like the heebie-jeebies. So I probably won't be doing that again, but I do really enjoy how everything lined like so perfectly on my lid. I kind of cannot believe it. So now what we have to do is see just how long this wears, if it falls any more on my face or not. So I will take you guys with me a little bit throughout my day and we will see where all of this lands. I'll see you in a minute. All right, so I am racing to go pick up food for dinner that's kind of like Ooh, do I have lipstick on my teeth? Oh my gosh, I have swatches on my hand. Oh my gosh, it's been that kind of a day, you guys. I have just like been like in the makeup. So I'm dashing out to try and go to the store and pick up these like pre-made healthy meals before they close, but I need to do a check-in. And I just wanna let you guys know, this is truly strange because I really like this. I didn't think I would like it because it's powder. And I would definitely do it before you know, everything else first because I did have a pretty decent amount of fallout, but oh my gosh, easiest liner. Like it has stayed put, it is rich. It is framing my eye, I'm so into it. So let's mad dash to grab some dinner and I'll continue doing check-ins throughout the night. Come along, James. Hello. I haven't seen you all day. What do you think of my eyeliner? <laughs> I, I, I'm only seeing a camera, let me see your eyes. And you're talking about the part underneath? Both. On the waterline? Both. I like it, it's a pretty color. It's black. It looks brown. You did some eyeliner, not eyeliner, your eyeshadow underneath. Oh my gosh, look how red your face is compared to mine. Do you get jealous of that? No, I'm glad that I'm not green like you. <gasps> <laughs> All right, you guys, so we made it in the nick of time to my favorite healthy food prepare food place called my favorite why can't i think of what it's called ready fit go go fit go something like that um yeah so got dinner handled it's like past seven o'clock which is why i need that in my life because i have no no time to myself these days wow this is just like very interesting light but you guys this liner is impressing me i am shocked like what it's powder and it basically is like a toothpick that you smear on your lash line how is this actually good blown away i'm blown i'm blown away all right i'm gonna go heat up my food eat dinner and i'll see you guys in a little bit in a little bit you're always like i will be back in a little bit but of course you will because you appear again you're like right now i'll be i'll see you guys like right that. now um okay so you guys do what you can to ignore my lipstick i was already like rubbing it off and like in the full process of removing my makeup and i was like oh gosh dang it i forgot i need to do a final check-in on the 41 dollar powder liner from guerlain and you guys and i don't know why i'm whispering it's like late and like it's my house i can be as loud as i want to why do i naturally just always whisper i don't even know 
Um, okay, you guys, I love this. I am shocked that I love this, but I feel like it really works for those kind of eyes like mine that are a bit challenging to line. Like you don't have to have a perfectly steady hand to get that like really nice, just like drag of liner and it doesn't look overly smudgy. It's still very precise and fine. And in the waterline, even though I probably would not do that very often just because it did kind of irritate my eyes and it kind of freaks me out for some reason um maybe i will talk to my eye doctor about that and he'll be like no never but i do have to say that it did stay put and as i was kind of going through some of the reviews on sephora that's actually something that a lot of people brought up they're like oh my gosh this is one of the few liners that does not collect or smudge or do anything crazy so it is so late i need to go to bed but I lived the entire day with eyeliner success and I actually really, really like it, you guys. I don't know that it's necessary to spend $41 on it, but gosh dang it, it is good. And I will let you know um, if I go through it really quickly or just kind of like how I think in a few months, I think I'm gonna try and do an update of a bunch of the WTFs that I've been doing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. If you are not subscribed, then please subscribe and join my glam family of makeup lovers i upload here monday through friday at 10 a.m pst so subscribe ring the bell so you're notified about my videos hit all and then you will be set to go all right i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video mm -hmm.